Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to learn how to monitor a custom application using Zabbix user parameters. I'm on a Linux machine right now, which I'm monitoring via my Zabbix server, and I want to monitor a custom script and send its output on the Zabbix user interface. So let's head it to etc Zabbix and list the contents. I'm going to create a very small script called hello world dot sh and just echo the output from it. And I'm going to write and quit. I'm going to provide execute permissions to my script so that the script can run. And I'll just test my script locally first. All right. Now I'm going to edit the Zabbix agent configuration file and add this script on the configuration. I'm going to search for user parameter and insert a field here in the same format as it's written over here. And give a key name my key and we are going to execute this from etsy zabbix hello world dot sh and we are going to write and quit this we are going to restart our zabbix agent because we have updated our configuration file. I'm going to head to my Zabbix and open the host, click on items, create the item and call it as custom item. And my key will be my key. I'm going to monitor it every 15 seconds. So this is a character kind of an information. So I'm going to use the type of information as character. And I'll just call it as custom item here. And I'll keep all my custom items in this application called custom item. And I will add this. And as you can see, this is added over here as a custom item. So we are going to test this particular item on the UI and we'll test this. And as you can see, the output is hello world. You can also see the latest data of this particular host and search for custom item. Okay, so it took a minute, but the data started to come in. So let's refresh it a few more times and see. All right, as you can see, the data is coming on the Zabbix UI every 15 seconds, just as we had set on this particular update interval. I hope this has been informative for you. I would like to thank you for viewing.